cooking. So what's a French Greek from Milwaukee doing in this part of the world? I'm a journalist. I was unlucky enough to cross paths with a corporal in the Turkish army who didn't like my looks. He confiscated my passport along with some other things. You can come in now. Oh, lucky man. C'est la vie. You know, I, I really just wish that that corporal hadn't confiscated my wallet as well as my passport because you and I could... Mr. Bureaucrat. I'm an American citizen, and I demand that you, you give my passport back to me! Nothing! You better come up with good story, my stupid American friend. That's what you are doing. American or not, is still espionage, huh? Come in. What do you want, Mogredian? I've come to collect my passport, Amendi. It's never been held up this long before. Crimes have never been the same. I come to Musadag every year, Governor. But I do spend most of my time in Europe. We are well aware of your activities. And I'm not accustomed to the deprivation of my freedoms. Distinguished service in the Balkan Wars. Captain in the Turkish artillery. Very impressive. Why aren't you with your unit? If I'm needed, they know where to find me. Mm. You're a soldier uh, on leave. There are no passports for people with your status. My wife and son carry French passports. I know. They are considered Turkish subjects. They are French. When can I expect their passports? I might be able to get it for them in a few days. They're planning on leaving tomorrow. I said a few days. I understand how expensive this war is, Governor. And I'm prepared to contribute to the um, war effort. Just a minute. You are... Uh, Bribing the governor of a Turkish province? Pardon me, Effendi. But the passport tax has been accepted every year since I can remember. Who do you think I am, Magradian? Some cheap uh, desk clerk? I know who you are, Effendi. I just want to know your price. Shut up! Get out of here, Magradian! Get out before I have you arrested. You Armenians think you can do anything with your goddamn money. Now get out! That money won't do you any good with a noose around your neck. Osman! Osman! I didn't do so well either. Do you have a place to stay? Clothes, money. What were you taking pictures of? So-called Armenian relocation. Relocation? Mm-hmm. Relocation, deportations. I'm going to teach that bastard how to respect the Turk. <clears throat> I swear, Osman, in a few days, I'm going to show him how. I have a feeling they're not going to be very happy when they develop that film. They probably will charge me with espionage. I'm going to have one hell of a story when I get back to the States. If you get back to the States. Come home with me. You can plan your escape from there. Are you serious? Yes, I am. You know, my wife is really going to love me now. First I invite a deserter to the villa, and now I'm bringing home a spy. Come on.
meant Villa. You meant Villa. What's going on? Our going away party. Yeah. Do you, uh, think there might be some place I can clean up before <laughs> I... Garo? See to it that Mr. Durand is made comfortable. Yes, sir. Take your time. We'll find some brandy in the living room. Thank you. Please, continue. Forgive me for staring. I have been taken by surprise a number of times today. First by the Turks, then by the charm of this villa. Now by you. Excuse me, my, my name is Maurice Durand. You're French. What a pleasure. I'm Juliette Begradian. Well, actually, I'm an American. But my father was French. I was born in the States. It's been a long time since this piano has been played so expertly. I'm flattered. But it's, uh, it's just a hobby. Oh. And your profession? Writer. Photographer. Traveler. And appreciator of beauty. Mr. Duran, you are welcome here. Do come and meet some of my other guests. Please.
What happened to them around? Gone. Crushed into the earth like so much garbage. Excuse me. Excuse me, please, but you must allow me to administer to these ladies. safety. We were nowhere near the war. Only Armenians were relocated. 